why are you doing charity have you ever considered this question uh, while you're doing charity uh, i'm not asking this question these questions were asked by a wife when uh, husband and wife were sitting with me uh, i know both of them very well maybe 30 years uh, plus uh, and uh, she said uh, i don't know why you're doing so much of charity while uh, working so hard in your uh, job and earning so much money are you doing charity to impress people uh, that set me thinking because a lot of people who do charity, I mean recently I heard of a guy who made a 1 crore charity to an organization and he's the same guy who would call up and say, Are, it's free Daru, why don't you, why are you not having it, and, right, and I don't even drink, so to me it doesn't matter, but he still asks, oh this is free food, why can't we have it, this is free Daru, why can't we have it, right, so that kind of a thing, it sets me thinking. Because there are many people who will bargain with their servants, bargain with the vegetable vendor till the cows come home and then they also will uh, do charity. For example, when I go on uh, tours and travels, um, I never bargain with the guide or with the driver who says, oh, it's 1500 rupees for uh, for this distance or 1800 rupees or something like that. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, it may matter to him, but it's not really worth bargaining so much. You should know what is the price. Yes, uh, yesterday when we tried to pick a rick, uh, he said 400 bucks and I was amused because I knew it would be 125 bucks. No, then you say, okay, go take a walk. I can always take an Ola or an Uber or I can walk down a little more distance and where from where I'll get a rick, right? So sometimes you do it to say, look, don't con me. But uh, people who do charity while paying their servants very badly, not paying the school fees for their children, not uh, not taking some insurance policy for their servants, etc. It really is quite shocking. Unless you know that this servant is not going to stay too long or things like that. If your servant has stayed with you long, you have to anyway cover them for charity, right? for uh, medical or such kind of expenses because you are anyway going to pay for it. You can give Gyan saying don't spend 5 lakhs on a wedding and I will not fund your wedding for 5 lakhs. Here is my contribution of 10,000 or 20,000. It's a gift. It's not a loan. I will not give a 2 lakh rupee uh, wedding loan, right? But I'll happily give you 20,000 bucks. Just go away with it, right? Uh, I'm not expecting this money to come back because when I give a loan and I think the money will come back, it may not come back. So there are various ways of helping, right? So you can help, like I have a, I know a man, old, he's about 80 plus. He helps his uh, servant and uh, servant's husband quite a bit, right? And it's very useful for him, right? So I'm not even saying this is charity. He looks after uh, their funding requirements and uh, they look after him uh, during emergencies and things like that because they are younger, they are in their maybe 30s and he's in. So I know it sounds a little cruel and I'm making it sound like a business deal, but it's not always like that, right? So find out whether in your life you are doing charity to impress others or you are doing charity to because you honestly believe that the charity has to be done. Uh, so uh, why do you give to some causes like uh, nobody uh, nobody really big uh, did things out of sheer uh, charity right so whether they gave money and it's all the temples are now called birla mandir right somewhere the name gets attached right liking you like it you don't like it nothing right there's nobody who just says oh i'll set up a hospital the hospital is after their name after their father's name after their mother's name right so or uh, or something like that so is there something attached to it do do you want people to remember you after you're dead right so find out what is the reason why you're doing charity and then you do charity right so that way you may not want to do give money to some uh, cause where it will be lost right if you can give one crore charity to say prime minister relief fund or something will anybody ever get to know about it no they won't really get to know about it so what is the big fund in doing so you may set up your own charity but find out what you're going to do about uh, running it do you know how many people to employ how to pay salaries where to register how to do should it be a private company should it be a charitable trust right you need to answer all those questions so don't just chart a trust for the sake of it you can do that charity to somebody else so find out why you are doing charity how much charity you want to do so first uh, charity begins at home pay your uh, employees well pay your uh, <coughs> vendors well don't bargain too much it doesn't really matter we hired a guide who said he'll charge us 400 bucks we knew it was 200 bucks too much 
but he took very good photographs right so when we were there he took very good photographs so i said here is 100 rupees for the photography so keep 500 so my friend said no actually 400 is for the photography 100 is for the guide work that you did because when you said 400 we could have beaten you down to 100 and i know that you were desperately looking for work yes of course we could have paid you less and uh, you know we could have beaten you on price but that was not the purpose the purpose was to encourage somebody here who is going to give us some gyan about the place and he was thrilled using uh, my friend's uh, Apple camera and uh, Samsung cameras and he, he really enjoyed himself. So did we and 400 to us wouldn't have mattered anyway. So sometimes you do charity in the form of uh, giving it to people like uh, work but it is actually not work it is just some you are having fun and they are getting some benefit and 200 bucks doesn't matter in your life. So you are doing charity that way but just find out the purpose of doing charity if you don't know that. Uh, sit down, pause and see how you want to do it. Maybe you want to rethink the way you do charity, continue to do it. Thank you.